back on the, the Yukon once again. And this is what greets us over here. That is a level 5 caribou. I'm pretty sure that does not look to be anything really insane. But uh, hey, it's a 5. We might as well try to see if we can get it for the large. Should we do some crazy brain shot or something like that? Um, We might do that. I'm not sure. We already have a diamond caribou, so I'm not too fast. Mm, I know this is a dumb idea, but I, I really want to do it, so I'm just going to pull out the 30 odd 6 and go for the brain shot while he's trying to drink. Let's see here. Get down. Bang. That is dead. And that should be a con good consecutive, and it is indeed. That should be all right. Went down right over there. We might as well just take another one. Oh, what is that? That's just another one running off. Kind of take another one just in case we don't have the consecutive harvest needed for that. And I did actually shoot another one quickly as well just to make sure. Oh, the consecutive was down. So that was actually a really good decision that I decided to delete the zone just so I could get the consecutive harvest all the way up now 80 percent that means when we're getting back to this big boy right over here oh got a stalker running around on the map as well this is gonna be a level five a caribou i'm actually not sure if it's gonna make diamond i've seen quite a few of them not make diamond but uh, i definitely want to give it a try and what does a level five caribou score it is a diamond and it is actually a 960 that is not bad. Another brain shot diamond. I have no idea why I keep doing this. It just, it's a nice little challenge and I'm so comfortable actually taking the brain shots these days. So no problem getting another diamond for the lodge. Let's just taxidermize that real quick. And uh, yeah, let's continue. And would you look at this behind that pretty decent level four, there is actually a melanistic caribou. Um, yeah. They're all over the place over here, but definitely gonna try to just tag it. Oh, I actually got it. <laughs> I'm shooting it with the 300, so I'm pretty sure it is gonna go down. How the hell did I just manage to get that? I don't know. That was kind of hard. I'm pretty happy with that shot. I've kind of gotten to the point now where I don't really care about the melanistic or any of the rare caribous, to be quite honest. I just need them dead. And uh, that one seemed to be a pretty awesome sh opportunity to make a crazy shot. That actually connected. Quite happy with that. And it actually didn't even go too far. I don't think there is any quick kill to be had on this one. But with the angle and such we had, I am pretty certain. We well, there is this, actually some kind of... Quick. Oh wow, look at that shot. Over the head of the, the, the two or three others and then just into the intestines. Oh well. Put it for the uh, rare caribou lodge that I'm going to be making at some point. It actually looks decent. I, I kind of like that. I have now actually decided to do the thing that I talked about. I am making a caribou lodge. Over there we got a leucistic. There's a leucistic. Got some pie balls. These are actually not too bad looking ones either, but we're getting so many of them, so I decided now is the time. Got the diamond from this video right here, just taking the centerpiece. And then we got the melanistic wall right here. And I don't know how many of these I actually have not taxidermized, but it's quite a few. So this lot should be quite full quite fast, but uh, I think this could be a fun thing to do. I might actually combine it with maybe axis steer pie bolts or something. Some of those that are really bucked where you find a lot of the rares. Just because then I can actually fill out most of the plaques in here. But this is going to be quite interesting. Let me know in the comments if you have anything like this for any of your lodges. Thank you so very much for watching.